my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on formal languages and automata theory this is lecture number 23 in this lecture we will try to understand few problems on mille machine example 1 construct a mille machine that produces one's complement of any binary input string we already solved this type of problem in more mission once complement means what once complement means one must be replaced by zero and zero must be replaced by one isn't it yes now uh, just we will uh, just one state or single state is enough to solve this problem why because if i give input zero what is output output must be one you are going to same state if you give input 1 it must give output 0 isn't it even if you want to check you can check with some with some sample string isn't it now construct construct a mille mission that takes binary number as input and produces two's complement in previous example we discussed about one's complement now we will try to understand two's complement how how can i find two's complement this lecture is already explained for more mission before understanding this this just try to understand uh, more mission example how can i identify uh, how can i identify two's complement let me take this one is a given binary number whose two's complement is this one how will it be just see if if you read from least significant bit to most significant bit this is zero this one is also zero 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 same number if 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 you are come across zero just keep as it is again if you come across zero just keep as it is if come if you come across first one just keep first one as it is this one is first one just keep first one is as it is from here onwards just take one's complement take one's complement means if you come across one just make it zero if you come across zero just make it one as it is one i am making it zero isn't it let me consider one more example just say this is original number now this one is two's complement of that particular number what is the logic if you come across zero just keep as it is uh, this one is zero just i am keeping as as zero here this one is also zero i am keeping this one is also zero first one if it is first one keep that first one as it is from here on words keep in the place of one zero in the place of zero one just as it is one i am keeping zero as it is 0 i am keeping 1 as it is 1 0 1 opposite this is 1 0 1 0 0 this is the procedure to find two's complement of given binary number how can i model this one into uh, mille machine just see q not on 0 if you come across any number of zeros just print 0 only if you come across first one just print if you keep one output must be one first for first one i must print just one from here onwards if i come across zero i must print one if i come across one i must print zero this is corresponding uh, th this must be the mille mission for two's complement of given number you can also Uh, check this by uh, feeding some uh, some input for example uh, what is the uh, for example this double one double zero is a given uh, binary number whose two's complement is zero one double zero how can i feed this one double one double zero just uh, i must feed from uh, uh, more uh, lsb to msb therefore i must uh, read it as double zero double one just see double zero Uh, double one what is the output uh, zero zero one zero uh, i must also read this one in this manner only zero zero one zero yes just if you if you uh, this one is simple and uh, uh, straightforward and example three what it says design a mille machine uh, design a mille machine that uses its uh, that uses its state to remember that last symbol red and emits output y whenever cur current input uh, matches to previous one then emits uh, 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 when it must print y when it current input matches previous otherwise it must print n just try to read this question so that you can understand answer simply 
uh, idea is simple let me say q naught is initial state what is the current input your inputs here sigma equal to 0 comma 1 what is your delta your output must be y comma n what it says if 0 is read then immediately 0 means uh, if I read 0 again if I read 0 means it is matching if it is matching just you must uh, print y if I read 0 and if I read 1 means th this is not matching in that case I must print uh, n that's what it says it's simple just see if I read 0 as I, I uh, we have not read any other symbol first time I am reading 0 therefore I am keeping uh, n uh, again after reading 0 if I again read 0 this 0 and this 0 is matching if two input symbol is matching means I must uh, give output y therefore 0 0 I must uh, print y therefore I am keeping y as uh, uh, y as output isn't it for example just see here 1 here also 1 this uh, this 2 1 and 1 they are matching as they are matching I am giving output y first time if I read 1 I, I must keep uh, I must print n why because in previous to this one I have not read 1 therefore I am printing 1 if this 1 1 I must print y if previous symbol is matching current symbol I must print y otherwise I must print uh, uh, no for example here we have 0 uh, uh, on Q1 there are two possible inputs here 0 and another possibility is 1 0 0 1 0 and 1 is not matching I must print 1 in similar manner here I am keeping 1 and if I uh, feed 0 here 0 1 0 it's not matching therefore I must print uh, uh, no isn't it just go through this and read this particular um, paragraph you can understand this diagram isn't it yes yes uh, thank you very much.